Hello everybody, I'm Anshul Jain and I welcome you to the YouTube channel of Delhi Institute for Civil Services. The topic for discussion today is the Asian financial crisis that you requested in my previous video. Asian financial crisis. Now what is, before we get into why the Asian financial crisis happened or why the East Asian crisis happened, before that we just need to clear a basic. Okay. Pehle basic samajhte hain. See, you just need to understand the basics of economy once, okay? For example, just understand a government, government increases the spending, okay? So, कहीं की भी, कोई भी country की सरकार पहले spending बढ़ाती है, दूसरा Taxes low rakhti hai, thik hai. Government spending increasing. Taxes wo low rakhti hai. Third, staple goods ki prices subsidize ho rahi hai. Thik hai. To, staple goods ki price subsidize kar rahi hai. Thik hai. Now see, all the three of, all the three reforms or all the three uh, measures of the government policy it does it has a consequence okay or it has a repulsion that consequence is see when the government increases the spending or when the taxes are reduced if you have to pay less taxes then you have more money available with you right so the moment you have more government spending and less taxes also you have to pay less for the staple food or the staple goods this results in public having more money in their pocket right you now have more money in the pocket to spend okay you have more money to spend also you can afford to buy a lot of things now you if you have more money to spend you are likely not just to consume domestic goods but also international or imported goods right this increases the demand for imports also and when you have more imports you also need more foreign currency right this increases the demand for foreign currency and if you have to buy foreign currency you are likely to sell your own currency hence the demand for foreign currency goes up and the demand for your own local currency goes down right now this coupled with government policies to promote heavy infrastructure investment this increased government want of um, increased investment with respect to in investment and infrastructure this is going to need or demand more foreign currency more double foreign currency demand is going to obviously appreciate right the value of the foreign currency and depreciate your value correct now more the local currency is offered in the forex market more the value is going to go down the moment the value goes down you need to sum it up or equalize it or bring it to an equilibrium through increased exports now if you do not have enough adequate exports right to buy it or adequate demand of your currency to buy it then the value of your local currency is going to go down further right this depreciation of your currency this going down of the value of your currency is the actual crisis starting with what government increased spending taxes reduction and subsidized staple goods okay subsidies low taxes and high government spending this is the root cause of the actual issue now let's get into the straight asian financial crisis issue you've understood the basics right what is the consequence of it let's understand how this happened in case of asia 
Now it began in 1997 July when because of the overheating in the economy or because of the stock market or real estate bubble also with respect to external de debts or external deficits all of that together plus the forex reserves ka depletion i told you why the forex reserves would deplete right because you need to pay more because you are importing more exactly so when you import more you need to pay in foreign currency right <coughs> plus the slump in global export demand now what will all of this do is what we are going to discuss okay there was a major global export slump uh, export demand slump in the european union japan etc isse asian exports ko thoda aur dhakka laga theek hai now this plus jo maine aapko pehle explain kiya the devaluation okay this resulted in july 1997 thailand actually was undergoing all of the uh, consequences right of increased government spending decreased taxes and subsidizing in tino ke jo repercussions ya consequences the wo thailand bhugat raha tha theek hai to thailand started devaluating devaluating or it started devaluation of its currency which is baht okay now down this was followed after the months of downward market pressure uske pehle jo tha baht was pegged to us dollar they started depegging or unpeg the baht to dollar right this resulted in the currency falling quickly and <coughs> not just thailand's currency but aaju baaju ki so for example indonesia south korea philippines malaysia inki bhi currencies fell see directly okay as proportional to thailand why see one that no economy is in isolation everybody is doing similar things to save its economy or to grow more see all of this is kept is done keeping in consideration that we want to become more export oriented we want to have more business and we want to produce more and for that we will have to be in the global economy better integrated right now <clears throat> the fall of the currency of thailand led to the fall of other currencies also kyunki domino effect ripple effect hota hai also it led to the reversal of market sentiment now they now people thought that like the foreign investment that we had people now thought that bhai yahan paisa rakhna sahi nahi hai the investment will not be fruitful so what people started doing they started taking their capital they started deinvesting their capital and taking it back to the country right that was a massive capital flight and bank runs triggering massive massive crisis now bank run also people did not have so the banks did not have enough money why because it was invested i'll tell you why these banks did not have enough money banks also here <coughs> in thailand philippines malaysia etc banks had started investing okay in what kind of so banks ke paas jo paisa hota hai businesses come and take loans from the bank for their business right so government was guaranteeing in a way government was guaranteeing in a way that whatever business you do however viable however unviable i will bail you out okay so when you start bailing out unprofitable or non profitable businesses you know that you are splurging is koi you know this is what increased government spending is you start bailing out uh those businesses which are not giving you any profit so that ultimately is a loss of money right so that unsound businesses also what businesses were bailed out or what why were business, aise businesses ko kyu fund kiya ya aise businesses ko uh, loan dene ki zarurat bhi kya hai simple reason corruption okay one is corruption two if you have a political connection if you have a nexus with the politicians if you have a lobby with them then your business however unsound however unviable will definitely get funding okay the same thing was having uh, the same thing was happening here also that's one thing two high levels of foreign debt because you want to pay the uh, because you want to bail out these businesses you, the government also needs money right it cannot just keep printing more money it will need some loan right to bail itself out or to keep itself away from the crisis they started taking more foreign debt right so another thing was the high level of foreign debt second 
heavy government spending resulted in the high current account deficits also because government started spending more aur uske samne unko itna productivity ya effectiveness business mein nahi mil raha tha correct dusra excessive bank lending, uh, lending because they started lending aggressively and that too without seeing how credible the loan is going to be right now if you see the ripple effect that got created see thailand's economy fell the grey one is thailand thailand's economy fell and thailand ke sath sath sabki gdp growth agar aap dekhoge to kam ho gayi theek hai now if you see malaysia if you see philippines if you see korea if you see indonesia indonesia fell the sharpest so if you see all of these southeast asian economies thailand ke baad baad piche piche sare ke sare they started falling theek hai this was the financial crisis that they were facing now see the root cause what is the root cause of crisis like this the root is see whenever you have economic policies or see every government will have economic growth or economic development policies right so when you have growth policies which encourage investment external investment or capital investment from outside theek hai jisko hum foreign direct investment bolte hain so if you are accepting or if you are inviting or promoting capital investment नो कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट जब आप अंधाधुन कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट लेते हैं या जब आप ये नहीं देखते हैं कि जो कंट्री इन्वेस्ट कर रही है आपके कंट्री में उनके इंटेंशंस क्या हैं वो इकोनॉमिकली कितना वायबल है वो इन्वेस्टमेंट अपने पास रखना है ना ऑल ऑफ दिस प्लस द हाई लेवल्स ऑफ डेट एंड रिस्क टू फाइनेंस दीज इन्वेस्टमेंट सो दम बोथ ऑफ दीज द बोथ ऑफ दीज कपल्ड इट वॉज अ रूट कॉज ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस बिकॉज आप ये नहीं देख रहे थे कि जो इन्वेस्टमेंट आपको मिल रही है उसकी बायबिलिटी क्या है राइट आफ्टर मैच अब ये क्राइसिस तो हो गए अब हाउ टू सी बिकॉज ऑफ दीज कंट्रीज इनके यहाँ जो फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस हो रहे थे दिस ऑल्सो अफेक्टेड अदर कंट्रीज नियर दैम ठीक है दूसरी कंट्रीज भी अफेक्ट हुई पर क्योंकि दूसरी कंट्रीज का फंडामेंटल मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक फंडामेंटल वाज प्रिटी स्ट्रॉन्ग दे डिड नॉट गेट एज नेगेटिवली अफेक्टेड एज दीज कंट्रीज बिकॉज दीज कंट्रीज फॉर एग्जांपल साउथ कोरिया इट ऑलमोस्ट वेंट यू नो इंसॉलमेंट ऑलमोस्ट इट हैड नो मनी लिटरली ओके तो फॉर साउथ कोरिया तो यू एस ऑल्सो यू एस फेडरल बैंक ऑल्सो हैड टू बेल दैम आउट एंड दे हैड टू हेल्प दैम आफ्टर मैथ क्या था सो वॉट हैपन नाउ आई एम एफ एंटर्ड ओके बिकॉज ये करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट हो रहा है तो आई एम एफ हेल्प अब इंटर इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड आई एम एफ ने कैसे हेल्प किया इन्होंने इन कंट्रीज़ को बेल किया इन्होंने रफली आई एम एफ प्लस अदर इंस्टीट्यूशन दे रफली स्पेंड अराउंड वन वन एट बिलियन डॉलर्स इन शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स सो दे गिव शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स टू दीज कंट्रीज एंड सेड कि भाई हम तुम्हें हेल्प करेंगे वी विल बेल यू आउट विल गिव यू मनी बट बदले में आपको हमें तीन चीज़ें प्रॉमिस करनी होंगी यू रिमेंबर हमने जो फर्स्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन स्टार्ट किया था ना वो ये बोल के किया था सारा इशू क्रिएट कहाँ से हुआ है ठीक है तो पहला क्या था कि गवर्नमेंट ज़्यादा स्पेंड कर रही है दूसरा टैक्सेस लो है और तीसरा सब्सिडीज ज़्यादा है राइट right? यही तीनों रूट कॉज थे ये तीनों से ही प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट हुई थी ऑल द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस दैट ऑल दीज कंट्रीज वर फेसिंग आई एम एफ ने एग्जैक्टली exactly ये बोला आई एम एफ ने बोला कि हम तुम्हें फाइनेंशियली हेल्प करेंगे विल बेल यू आउट पर उसके बदले में यू विल हैव टू डू समथिंग वॉट इज दैट समथिंग गवर्नमेंट्स विल हैव टू रेज टैक्सेस वहाँ टैक्सेस कम हो रहे थे अब यहाँ क्या बोला आप टैक्सेस बढ़ाइए दूसरा स्पेंडिंग कट कीजिए क्योंकि वहाँ हम ज़्यादा स्पेंड कर रहे थे तो नाउ कट द स्पेंडिंग थर्ड एलिमिनेट सब्सिडीज ठीक है वही जो तीन प्रॉब्लम्स थी उनका रूट कॉज निकाला है ना वो तीन रूट uh, कॉज जो थे उन कॉजेज का यहाँ पे उनको कंडीशन बना दिया और रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिया कि हम आपको बेल आउट करेंगे वी विल गिव यू शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स वी विल हेल्प यू फाइनेंशियली बट देन यू विल ऑल्सो हैव टू फॉलो द कंडीशन दैट वी हैव गिवन राइट दैट इज हाउ आई आई एम एफ हेल्प दैम नाउ इफ यू सी आफ्टर द हेल्प फ्रॉम आई एम एफ एंड अदर इंटरनेशनल फोरम्स एंड इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू सी ऑल ऑफ द कंट्रीज ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ द कंट्रीज दे started recovering and came back to their original growth or they restored economic growth restored theek hai to agar aap ye dekhoge ki bhai yahan pe 90 ye 1998 1997 mein you had all the economies falling but then after the reforms they started coming back to their growth right to yahan tak pahunchne ke baad is curve ko ye wapas ever increasing pe le kar gaye theek hai to short term tha the financial crisis was short term a similar financial crisis 
there is also one more financial crisis which is called Takila financial crisis. If you want me to make a video on Takila financial crisis, do let me know in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you with Takila financial crisis also. That is also very interesting, very similar but interesting. And it is it belongs to, uh, so that is a different continent altogether, right? Uh, do let me know in the comment section below Takila financial crisis kaha hoi the. And if you want me to make a detailed video on it, do let me know. I will be happy to make one on that. So anyway, this was Asian financial crisis. That is all. This is all you need to know. If you have more questions, please put the questions in the comment section below. Um, this is all you have to know. There is a lot, you know, with respect to Asian financial crisis and other uh, financial crisis when it comes to world affairs. But that is not not everything uh, we're supposed to know, right? We are not supposed to uh, study everything in uh, you know great detail or in depth or you know PhD level ka UPSC GPSC ke liye. But nahi kya mein koi zarurat nahi hai. Jitna pata hona chahiye, utna pata hona chahiye. That's it. And you have to know your basics. That is what I started with the basics, right? So if the basics are clear, then you would know what will be what will be the repercussions, right? Uh, this was all for today. If you have anything else in your mind that you want me to make a video on or if you think you are facing any difficulty in understanding a topic, do let me know whatever subject it might be. If I am, uh, if I will be able to help, I will. Otherwise, anybody of, uh, you know, anybody from our team will be happy to help. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. See you in the next one. Thank you.